Hey guys, hey guys, I am live again, live again, I actually did a live stream earlier on today, I'm not sure if any of you guys saw it, but I did a live stream talking about Switch controllers, um, but yes, I am now live again, I am live again, um, oh, I, unf I unfortunately, I must have clicked the, the, what I normally do is I switch off the ads so that people can just tune in quickly, but I'll maybe do that, I forgot to do that there. Turn off the ads. We don't want the ads just now when I'm live. We don't want the ads just now. Where can I turn that off? Turn that off. We don't want the ads. Um, so, yeah, earlier on, uh, I, I talked about Switch controllers. But I wanted to play... I wanted to play this game. This was a lot of fun last night, if it gets in focus. Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey. So, very, very good game, as you guys saw last night. And, yeah... Going to play some Mario. It's quite a relaxing game, actually. Um, Niall says that he's bought it. Um, I think you've done the right thing. Um, you've got an Xbox as well. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to put on a uh, Mario. Yeah. So last night I got through. What did we get through? We got through about three levels or so, I think. Uh, oh, there's an update. We might be waiting. I think we might be waiting. Right. I'll do an update with with that. I'll let that go in the background. I did not know that was there. Um, you're not going to stay up late tonight, Evo? Um, yeah, it probably won't be as late for me tonight either. Um, I'll turn it off. I've got too many things open here. Um, oh, it's starting back up now. Play till dawn. How you doing, Norlis? Good to see you. Uh, where are we here? Where are we here? Right, let's load it back up. Here we go. Yeah, so we pl I played this last night. I actually played it for like four and a half hours. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if that makes me pathetic, but I did. And to be honest, it actually flew in. This is a very, very good game. Very good game. And the time just flew in. So I've not completed every single level per se. You probably saw that. The first two levels are kind of... <laughs> uh, the first two levels are kind of like introduction levels. They kind of ease you into the game a little bit. But the first game, that desert level... I got quite a lot of the, the moons, didn't I? I? I went through quite a lot of it. Um... I got through quite a lot of the levels, uh, a lot of the moons, but there was a couple at the end I didn't know how to do it. It's something I, w I will go back at one point. The second level I did was the wood level. I got some of the, um, I got some of the moons in addition to the ones, you know, I think it's like 16 to leave. I got some of them. And now I have arrived here. So I've not played this level at all. Uh, and this is where I am at the, the water level. So that says it needs eight more moons. I'm dressed like a scientist now, as you can see. Give me those coins. They're gone. Right. What have we got here? Now it's a save point. That's a save point there, and if you die, that's where you go. Some things over there. I still don't know what those boxes are. Um, um, yeah, as I was saying earlier on, guys, as I was saying earlier on, um, I did talk about controllers. I did talk about... Um, Nintendo Switch controllers, but I had to think about it, and I was kind of, you probably realised, I was kind of thinking about it during the stream, um, and I just ordered the, the Switch Pro controller. Oh, I've missed them all. I've messed up. I'm go I'll do it again. Um, all right, I probably have to talk to her. So, yeah, I've ordered the Switch Pro controller. I, I think I might end up getting that adapter. Um... Oh, I'm down. I was going up the way. 
rather than... I'm not going to do this in time. Ah, oh, I'm missing them. I'm too high. Yeah, I've messed it up. It's quite hard because they, they're actually at a different level. Oh, why did that start there? I've got no air. Now I need to go back and do that. Um, yeah, so I've ordered the Switch Pro Controller. and I know I've got the Wii U Pro Controller as well, and it probably made most sense to just buy the adapter. But I don't like how low the buttons are on that. Um, I paid £50 for it as well, and it would have been £18 for the adapter, so... I don't know. There's a lot of other controllers out there I might get, in, you know, I could maybe test in the future, but I think if I'm going to be playing the Switch a lot, which I probably will, you know, if I keep, um, uh, why is it going down? It was just going way out of the, the way there. Um, yeah, so I'll get the Switch from Pro Control and I'll take it from there. Yeah, I think, it, I think it will be worth the money, but it's one of those things, you know, there was one of those third-party controllers, um, I think I shared it in a video, it was like Benku or something, I mean, it could be it could be terrible, but, um, well, there's a lady up there, um, I need to get those. What the hell just happened there? I was not expecting that. Right, so that takes me back up. Um, yeah, so um, there's a lot of good third-party controllers. The one that was there was one that looked like an Xbox One controller, but um, I mean, I want to come up for air first. There was one that looked like an Xbox One controller. It was like twenty-four pounds. But then there's a good argument for just buying the controller you want. Um, watch out for those spikes. But if I do get that adapter Evo, I'll be sure to do a review of it. Oh, it looks like that will give me some air. There we go. It's kind of like Sonic, isn't it? And with Sonic, it goes doo 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 doo. Got it. I assume that's the only one down here. Yeah, they've just copied Sonic, haven't they? They've copied Sonic with the ear. I want to get that love heart. Hopefully I won't die doing it. Oh, there's a save point there. Underwater engines. Ah, nice. I don't have to worry about you. JK from Javariquai. Did Mario... What, which one did they have gills in? Which one did Mario have gills? Which one was that? Was that Mario World or... Jesus. Oh, that's... Um, that's the guy. That's the little guy from Mario 64. Remember him? Remember, he was the guy that was like, you wouldn't, you had to jump on him. Okay, so I can still die, apparently. I didn't think I would, I didn't think I would lose the energy there by just bumping into someone. There's a heart down there anyway. Oh, I'm going down the wrong, wrong way. Where'd I go down? Ah, right, okay, Y. So the the Y button seems to... Right. That's what you look like with the blue favours in here. <laughs> ah, right, okay. So I wonder what you were talking about there. Older games, Mario could stay underwater forever. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, that went right over my head. You're right, he did. I mean, that's silly. I was playing that the other day. You didn't have to worry about, um, about air. You're right. 
when you're right, you're right. Any iPhone news? Eh, I've actually just published a video five minutes before my live stream. I don't know how YouTube handles that with the algorithm. It probably, it probably punishes me. And that sounds a little bit stupid, me saying that, but YouTube does actually do that. If I live stream and then I, I live stream again, like say an hour later, I don't get as many viewers. It's, you know, I, I don't know if it's just like an abuse thing. I just published a video about it, but basically, um, I'll just, uh, I've dropped the controller. So, my video was like 20 minutes long, right? But I can kind of summarize it very quickly. Um, so, they announced the iWatch 5, the, what did they announce? The iWatch 5, the, the new iPad 10.2 inch, but they've got the I, iPhone 11 Pro, and there's an iPhone 11 Pro Max, and the iPhone 11. There's a few things that might surprise you. I'll share the link in the comment area if you want to check it out, now. Um, I don't want to bore people with it, because I realise most people are probably here for the game streaming, and I've did a video about it. Uh, but... The big thing about it is that, well, the notch is still there, and it it, it kind of looks dated now, if I'm honest. Um, right. Right, can I do that as the fish? I'm going to die now, I've got nowhere. Can I get down there? Does this get... There we go. Um, yeah, so the pricing is quite surprising as well. See if you're in the UK, what they've done is, remember it used to be like, say it was $999 and we'd be like £950. It's the opposite now. It's $999 for the iPhone uh, 11 Pro, but it's £1,049 for it here in the UK. Right, so I need to dress like a swimmer. To get in there, right. So in the last level, I didn't actually do that in the last level. I missed that part in the, the last level. Um. How did I get in there? Ah, here we go. It's quite cool. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I think I think you're right, Norlis. I think they're punishing us because of Brexit. Um, a little bit annoying, though. You know what? We are paying a a significant amount more. I mean, it was always more, but um, the thing is, though, that guys, this is how it works. I've travelled in countries that have to pay a lot in tax. I remember when I lived in New Zealand and Australia. When I was in New Zealand, I imported the Zoom. Because, um, basically I saved a couple of hundred dollars importing it from the USA than just buying it there. Um, in, a, in Argentina, I bought a camera second hand before I went to South America and... Oh, and I went to South America and the camera that I bought second hand for like 200, it, even new it was like 300, they were selling it new for like 800. Maybe we'll go down there later. So, I mean, I don't think that's going to happen in the UK, let's be honest, but that is maybe something we need to consider. Down the line, the gravy chain is over. It could get worse before it gets better. We shall see. I need air here. Oh, I need to get air. I need to get air quickly. Get that air. Oh. That was a close one. There's a little cheeky moon. Evil's right. Mario used to have gills. Right, so there's something else up there. Some other, like, wooden things up there. Um, the Microsoft Zune. Yes, it was a Zune. Niall's got the XR, the iPhone XR. To be honest, I don't think they're doing enough to encourage people to upgrade. Um, and one of the things I say in my video is that 
basically every Android phone in 2019 has either got um, like the little kind of pixel, see like the kind of pixel lens thing, the little pin drop, I think they call it pin drop camera lens. They give you that or they give you an all screen display. This is what's 2008 and even cheap, cheap Android phones. My friend's uh, Android phone was £150 and that has that individual camera and they've got a notch and it's a thousand pounds. It's I'm not gonna say the notch is that important, but it's kind of weird that they've they've stuck with it. Uh, the Microsoft Zoom, yes, Evo. I had the, I bought the Microsoft Zoom. It crapped all over the iPhone, uh, the iPod, sorry. I don't care what others say. It crapped over the iPod. It was so much better. It was color. It had a fantastic interface. Gave you so much more storage. It was amazing. Um, South America's, South America's generally more expensive, but um, I remember when I bought my first iPad, well, the only iPad I bought, and I bought it in, in Bogota, in Colombia, and I remember it was much more expensive than the UK, like say 100, 150 pounds, and then for whatever reason, it dropped in price to the point where it was actually 100 cheaper than the UK, and I bought it there, but most things, cameras, phones, and everything else was much more expensive. Um, yeah, the Zoom was quality, which is weird why they make fun of it and like, what do you call that show again? Um, the Geeky... My head's, my head's up my ass tonight. The one with Sheldon and all that, the Big Bang Theory. I'm sure they made full of the Zoom and that, and it's it's kind of like a joke amongst the, the tech world at the Zoom. Um, but it's kind of like, um, the Zoom is kind of like trying to rewrite history that they're saying it was a failure. I know it failed from a marketing point of view, but technology-wise and from a usability point of view, I thought it was so much better, so much better. Nio, I bought dollars two weeks ago, 1.2. Now they're 8, what, 0.8? Really? I've not been paid it. I mean, that's good. That's actually good for me. I make a lot of money in dollars rather than pounds, but still. Um, that's insane. Right, same when you go anywhere you swim. It's hiding somewhere, go and find it. What do you see there? Jump, grab, cling, and climb. Right. Is this what he's talking about? I got some money! I don't know if it's the same here. Oh, there's a little, there's a little entrance, entrance in there, isn't there? Hey, you, lovely lady. They just give moons out for fun, don't they? They don't even make it a challenge. Yeah, the better, the better max, better max, is it better max or better max? I always say it the wrong way around. Yes, that was actually much better, but everyone went opted for the cheap one. Do you still use a Walkman, Evo? What kind of Walkman? Like cassette, or are you talking about uh, like a Walkman branded MP3 or something? Or right, so it says Bowser could be down there, but I'm I'm not ready to go down there yet. Right, so there is a moon, or oh, it's a moon piece down there. So let's go down there. What what we should do actually? I don't want to have to keep dealing with this no ear thing. Yeah, so now I don't have to worry about no air. I can just zoom around. Zoom around, get it? Um, right. Some purple coins up here. Look at my tash. No porno tash. Right. There we go. So that's where I came in up there, wasn't it? Um, I've been down there. So I need to go up high. <laughs> what a plaza entrance, right? So there's another entrance. 
I'll just leave the fishy there. Right, let's see if I can get up there. Oh, actually, who's that fishy? Oh, he's gone. Why does that not surprise me? NZX100. Alright, oh, okay. Are you talking about the little portable one? Um, I don't know what that is, actually. I've, I've never seen the, those ones. NWZX100, ZX300. I mean, I'm generally... People always say uh, you're a um, Nintendo fanboy, Microsoft fanboy and all that. I, I was, it's always Sony I've loved, if I'm honest. Right, so that's... Ah, so that I can put an address down here. Let's see if we can get here. Get that. You always have to buy the moon. Still want those boxers, guys. I missed the, see the changing into the, changing into like a different guy, different costume. Um, I missed that in the last level, I didn't do it. So I've got all those ones, I need to buy these. Looking quite, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'm feeling that as much as the poncho. I think the poncho was better, right? Swimwear. There's Dory. I don't have enough coins for anything. I can buy that though. I need to get more purple coins. I somehow managed to look even more like a twat. Right. I've got my sexy costume and I've got my snorkel now. Right, so I've got... Can I jump over there? Oh, that's a... See what else is here. Music in this game is so relaxing. You got an SD card on your Switch. Um, yeah, so basically a, a few months ago I bought a 400 gigabyte micro SD card for my switch but um where is it i can't see it but uh, basically since i bought the samsung t5 hard drive it's kind of made the micro sd card obsolete so I i've stuck it on the switch 400 gigabytes is like a 4k recording card ridiculous but i don't even know if i'll use it all but i've stuck it in i've stuck it in the switch so um i think i will need it at one point though i mean probably 128 gigabytes would probably be enough but I've just stuck it in the Switch just now. Um, I might end up moving it later on for a, like an action camera or a camera or something, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, 400 gigabyte is more than enough. I've actually got a 128 gigabyte card I could probably use. The thing is, I do try and keep a few cards spare just because with cameras and different things, you, you sometimes need to get it. Um, Oh, made that a little bit easier. Oh, that, I said that made it easier, and then I did that. So 
So there's other ones down there, isn't there? This is so I can buy things in the shop. Um. But you notice all the fish in here, all they do is moan and complain. Right, so I need to get the dress from up there. Oh, I can't move from on there. Is that like a dome? I didn't see me able to move from there. Those things are big when you see them. Those little fish. Right, there's a woman there who clearly wants my attention. Um. Oh, that's the one that's crying about the... Right, so I've been in most of the levels here. Hey Mikey, yeah they're basically SD cards, but the thing is, memory card isn't something that I really thought about, but did you see what they did with the new Mortal Kombat game? The Mortal, the Mortal Kombat 11 came out on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and the Switch, right. So, come out a roughly, I think it was about the same price on all systems. If you buy it for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, you get the full game. If you buy it for the, the Switch, Essentially what you get in the card is like a really restrictive version of it where you don't even get the full game It's like 30% of the game What you need to do is then go on online and do a software update and the software update is like 16 gigabytes Now that doesn't sound a lot for a PlayStation 4 or Xbox one game But for the switch is quite a lot because obviously it's gone onto the memory card uh, A lot of people are very annoyed about it because what it means is that if you buy it say at the airport You couldn't play the full game. You know you have to download the majority of the game, um, you need to download the majority of it via the, the online service, so. Yeah, kind of annoying the way they've done it, but I don't know if that's them just working around limitations of the game, etc. And I don't know. I thought I'd been here. It's a different part. No, this, I have been down here. Um, yeah, I should really just go down here and just see what happens. This is deep. Am I going to die? I could die here. There's a very good chance I will die here. Oh no, I should have became a fish. I should have became a fish. Why didn't I become a fish there? That would have saved me a lot of hassle. Oh, it's Little Toad! So, for those of you who didn't know, in Super Mario 3D World in the Wii U, there was lots of Captain Toad levels and they were so popular that he actually got his own game. Witcher th yeah, Witcher 3 could be. Witcher 3 could be as well, just because of the sheer size of the game. I don't actually have a major problem with it myself, because I think that like 120 gigabyte cards are fairly cheap now, but obviously if you're buying a, you know, a crap load of games, you run into the same problem as you do with the PlayStation 4 and all that. Yeah, 
Yeah, Mike, it kind of does. You're right. It does kind of mean it kind of renders the SD card completely pointless because at that point it should just be a digital only game. You're right. I think I think that uh, I think you could be right. They're just being cheap. They probably opted for a very cheap SD card rather than getting one that has the full game on it. Um, I've not I've not played on the 3DS, Evo. I think it's just the idea that if you buy a game, I think it's just the idea if you buy a game and then you don't have the full version of the game. Now, I understand that if you buy, say, FIFA 19 or FIFA 20 for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, chances are they've done some upgrades, they've done some improvements, and they will have, you know, things you have to download to upgrade. I'm all for that, especially when it's for improving the game. But you need to remember the Switch is still a handheld and with a handheld, things like that should kind of be kept to a minimum. Certainly though, I think you're right. I think they've been cheap. I think they've used a very limited SD card. They've not went for the more expensive one because it would have cost them more money. And they've chose to just offer a download so that people have to go out and buy a micro SD card or a, a bigger one. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's what it is. I definitely think that's, I think that's what the case is. I don't even have to do a challenge here, just gave me one. A lot of these moons are quite easy to get, aren't they? Right, what else is down here? This is like this is the, the funny angles, it's not really letting me see anything. Yeah, I can't really move it around. Right, look around. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing there. So this will be a shortcut up the stairs, no doubt. Yes, it is. I'll go through that, I'll save it. Yeah, I think it is ridiculous, especially when you see the price of the game retail. And for them, if they're buying them in bulk, what's the difference between... I mean, what's the card? I I, I don't know, I'm just guessing what the card is. Say it's a 4 gigabyte card. What's the difference of them going up to an 8 or a 16 or a 32 gigabyte card? The ch you know, the prices of SD cards. Stick another £5 retail and make sure that everyone gets the full game. But what it means is if you buy... The Switch version and you don't download anything, you have basically got one of the eight modes or something like that. Read into it, I'm, you know, I haven't bought the game myself, um, so I don't know exactly how bad it is, but a lot of people were boycotting it because of that. Um, right. Is the monster still there? No, that was Toad. So I need to go up the way, I think. Oh, in fact, I reckon, I reckon one of the levels here will be to put my hat on him. Dory. Oh, there's a moon. Maybe not. Maybe I just get the moon on his back. Nah, doesn't look like it's a thing. Right, I need to go down, make myself one of these fish so I don't die. It saves me having to worry about here. I thought I'd be here. Yeah, I have been here. So, Okay, right, so I have to go over there, I assume. 
Oh. What will do though is... I'll go over here first. Get these coins. Who puts the game on the catches? Is it Nintendo the developer and don't Nintendo tax them for the process? That's a very good question now. Um, I'm not sure... I mean, I guess it would be up to the responsibility of the developers and they have to... I don't know, actually, maybe Nintendo handles everything. I'm just trying to think, because Nintendo's quite hands-on hands -on with most things. I don't know, maybe it is a cheap-ass decision from... from Nintendo, then. I don't know, I mean, I think... I mean, if you go back to, even go back to, like, the Super NES days, when, uh, like, Star Wing or Star Fox had the FX chip, or the expansion pack on the Nintendo 64 and all that, there were reasons to pay a little bit more. I think for a game like Mortal Kombat, I think you can justify paying an extra few pounds to just cover the cost. It's just surprising that they've... I mean... I don't know. I mean, look, to be honest, it's not... It really isn't any inconvenience for me, if I'm honest. Clearly. I've got a memory card. I can download it. It's not an issue. Um... But I don't like the idea of it. You know, I think the principle of the thing is it's a little bit annoying. I must admit, there's a really good variety of games in this. Like, the mini games is a really good variety. Right, so I need to do that and then go to the next one. I think, do, do they not all have to be licensed by Nintendo though? Right, how do I get out for this? Oh, there we go. comes the camera angles. Got it. I would definitely get Mortal Kombat though, you know, I think it'd be a fun game, but Mortal Kombat's probably the game that you want to get for the PlayStation 4, you know, with the better graphics and all that, but it could be fun. It could be fun on the, the Switch as well. Plus, I, I do love the idea of having games like that on the Switch, you know, have it in your handheld, so wherever you are, you can, um, you know, you've got the, um, you've got it with you, you know, if you're on a plane, you can, I don't know if they've got, like, a, a simple mode where, um, you know, like, classic mode where someone gets a Joy-Con each, I don't know if there's anything like that for Mortal Kombat, I don't know how they would do it with a game like that, but, right. Let's see what happens here. Just like the kind of mini boss. Hmm. This guy's got a spike on his back. And his hip. And his helmet. Maybe I have to hit that.
There we go. Yeah, I think I think the switch light will sell well. I think see if it drops down to like the one twenty five a kind of price. I'd be tempted to get it. Like so far, I I know I've I've basically got four games and I've only put one into my switch. But I played the switch in my friend's house and all that, and I'm really liking it. I'm really liking what the switch is all about. Um, and I, I love the versatility of just, you know, I've got it docked right now, but just picking it up and then sitting on the couch and playing the exact same game. I do think that the whole idea of it is, is pretty cool, but the Switch Lite might work better as a handheld because, you know, when this is in the handheld mode, the distribution of the controllers and stuff, I can see why people would maybe go for the handheld version. Certainly if that's all you're playing it in. Needs eight more. I think I've got enough of that already. Yeah, I've got enough to go to the next level, guys. So at this point, it's just kind of bonus, but... Um, what's this here? Home album to take them at any time. I don't care about that. Right, so there's fishing here. Oh no. Why did I do that? Why? Right, I need to get back up there, but this is another thing here, isn't it? Where's, where am I going now? Right, so where was that one me to go? Ah, it's down below. Right, 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 I get it. I couldn't see that first. There's probably a lot more moons I can get now. It's almost at a different level. So there's a green pipe up there. Here we go. I totally messed this up. I need to start again. Oh, I don't only get one shot. Right, I'm going to go back and do this again. Right, here we go. That was the best way to do it, rather than jumping back up. Hey! A lot of these moons are very easy to get. Let's be honest, it's not the most difficult. Um, right. So where else is there? There'll be something else. So there's... What's she? Let's see what she's saying to it. I probably need to go through a little bit again. Try dive down here.
Right, so that's like a dome I can't go under. Unless I need to bring a fish up to her, I don't know. Right, so maybe I need to get a fish. There's a little fish. There's a little red one. Here we go. There's one now. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I just got one. She wasn't. A you can't please her. There, so that one come back. Right. Right. That clearly is what you need to do because she was trying to pet it. That's that's a dead end. Back up. I just had to jump in the little paddling pool. Right. Right, so there's a... They're just, I mean, they're just hiding moons in boxes now. Got a little bit too easy. See the big zip thing up there? It's a big huge zip up there. I've not been to that yet. So... See if I can get to that. Sorted, sorted. Right. Hold on. Oh. Right, so that was fairly straightforward. This feels like more like a Zelda thing you would do. Yeah, see, they make it kind of disappear when you actually put your line in. There we go. You see one of those paintings down there as well? And this is another thing that was in, like, Mario 64, when you used to walk about the house. You'd walk about the house and you walk into a painting and you'd go to a different world. Last time it took me to New York, remember? Oh, 
Wow. This is a brand new world. I don't even know what this is, but... So, basically, I've got a, a moon here, but I'm too far away to, any, to do anything. But it's kind of like a preview of what this world is going to be like. This big guy up here... Oh, is that a bird? Oh, is it looking for beef? Yeah. That was the same before when, uh, when I did... So, I was in the desert level and it was a painting like that, and it took me to the Mario Kingdom, which is kind of like New York. But it was the same, I could get the moon, but all I could do is, was go back. I'll skip that. Right. I'm fairly picking, th I'm, I'm fairly kind of picking up the, the moons now. I still need to get the dress thing, so I need to go and sort that. I didn't, oh, I, I didn't talk to the, the lady at the, the start either. I completely missed her out. So this is the start of the level. I completely missed out the lady here. I've done that. I've not done... Thought this swim under there. I got it wrong. Right. Um What do you think guys? Find some more moons, get the dress or whatever it is, or just go to the next level. Oh, you've done this one, haven't I? I think I've done this one. Yeah, I did this one already. I did this one earlier. I didn't do this though. I don't know what these things are, I don't know if this is something that you unlock later, but they're in it, these blocks are in every single level. I don't know what you're supposed to do with them yet, there might be some, there might be something simple. I've tried jumping on them and all that, but nothing seems to work. Yeah. Um. Right. Is that... So that save point, I does not look like I've actually hit that save point up there. Maybe I have. I do need to get that dress. Been here, I just haven't did the save point. Courtyard, right. I think I've got most. I think I've got most of the most of the moons. I just haven't did the dress thing. It's 
quite a big level. It's, it can be quite hard sometimes to figure out what you've been through and what you haven't been through. Um, I have to dress like a swimmer. Right, so I just have to get... Right, I know what I need to do now. This is the part that I've not done yet. There's maybe some other moons and all that that I've not done yet, but... I know, he loves a sidetrack. Um, right, so I've got more blue, more blue coins, so I have to dress like a swimmer. Right, so I should be dressed like a swimmer now. Right, I'm looking fantastic. I'm looking fantastic again. So, I should now be able to get in here and get that dress. Wait, there's an entrance here. Okay. So this is this dress that they all keep talking about. I am not impressed. What am I supposed to do there? It says go down. What am I supposed to do here? How many moons? I, I've got no idea. I've got no no idea how many moons I'm supposed to get. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this dress because... Ah, there we go. I just hit. So basically, when I was throwing it there, I threw it. But what you have to do is kind of hold on to it. And it'll spin more. There's probably a lot more moons I can get from this level. But I'd like to maybe move on to another one. At a certain point, you just like, I don't want to keep going back and forth through the same area. So... Get some more coins. I think I should go back to the start, we'll travel to the next level and we'll see what happens. Try and go a little bit further in the game. What, what other games have you got, Niall, out of interest? Have you got any two-player games? I'm actually thinking about maybe getting, like, Mario Kart and things that I just, for playing online. Here we go. is where he normally gives you some tips. Okay, so now I can go to Metro Kingdom. Right. I like the look of this. This is the one that's like New York, effectively. Um... Oh. 
So it says I've, I've got 76 moons there. There must be something like to get to the very final level with Bowser, you have to have, say, 100 moons or something. This guy always tells you things you've already learned in the game. There he is. The man himself. Hey Gary, I just replied to your comment there, I just saw it there. So you, are you going to get one of those iPhones, Gary? Ah, uh, it wasn't really a review, just a kind of summary through the website, looking at the specs and all that. Um, I think the new iPhones do look good. I just think that, yeah, I was kind of surprised they still got the notch. But the the camera is really, the camera is the part that really interests me. I think the camera looks fantastic. Um, you know, the samples that I looked at. Um, and just the, the recording capabilities. You know, I'm always looking at things from a YouTuber's point of view. You know, as far as recording videos and things like that, so it looks really good, but it's a lot of money as well. Are you going to get it in contract, Gary? Are you going to just buy it outright? <laughs> I like it. Get a snorkel on. Ah, uh, that's what I would do as well if I was buying it. Just buy it out outright and stay sim free. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do, Niall. I could actually do a, you know, a stream later on down the line once I've completed it. Where I try and go through and find all the moons that I, I don't have. I was not ready for this here. All right, so you have to do it like. I like that. Doing a bit more of a fight. Oh, now he's doing the fire there. Like that, I jumped at that time. Good question, Evil. Good question. And I'll open this up to everyone else as well. For those of you on Android, do you think you can switch back to iOS after being on Android so long? Um, <clears throat> yes, the short answer, yes, I can, uh, but I do think there'll be maybe a couple of weeks for an adjustment, at least a week or two. Um, I think most of the apps and most of the things I use are cross-platform. You know, most of the things I use, you know, Google apps and all that, are, they should be available on iPhone. Um, so it'll be a while to get used to certain things, but the core functionality that I use in a phone is going to be there. Um, and most of the apps, I've got, I've got a couple of premium apps, but not too many. In fact, from a recording point of view, like there's a couple of apps that I use to help me with doing YouTube videos. Um, you know, just like edit different things. There's actually a better selection of those things on Apple. 
I've just avoided Apple just because of the price. Um, ah, so I'm not in I'm not in the Metro Kingdom. What were you saying? What phone does everyone have just now? I know, I know Niall said he's got the iPhone XR. Um, I mean, I don't think it would take long from someone to get used to Android from iOS either. The thing is, if you go back to the very start, I had, what did I have? It was, a sec it was basically the second Android phone in the UK. I think it was a G2. Maybe in the third, but it was basically within the first few months. And at that time, and I would say even for the first couple of years, I think iPhones were better. They were still expensive, but they were better. But then Android shot ahead, and iPhone and Android has been copying each other so much over the years that most of the core functionality that you're used to is on both, you know, both operating systems. Um, so I don't think it's a major thing to change from one to the other. My friend Kenny, he uh, he moved after been 10 years on a, on a, an iPhone he moved to Android and he said it's he was surprised how good it is but it's probably a lot of things on iPhone and iOS that I'd like if I went back to it as well I think the core functionality is there um, and I don't think you know unless you're using an app that you can only use in the one platform I think you'd be fine but th there will be a few things that you go oh, I miss it I miss this I miss being able to do that and um, you know, everyone always say that Android was good because you could tweak it and you could do different things, but generally speaking, you don't actually end up doing that. You know, it, it becomes a pain to root your phone and unlock it and all that. Right. So I need to see... Can I go around there? Ah, it's just... I can't get to that. I need to get one of those, oh, I need to get one of those guys that show me. I need to get one of those guys that show me what to, uh, where, um, where you can walk. Look at that, I didn't even see that with the camera angle. Well, that, that's the one thing that I'd have a pain with. I, I, I absolutely detest iTunes. I detest it. It's an abs it, it was never, ever a fun thing to use. And the fact that you still have to use it for certain things and all that. Um, great. Now I have to do this level without my cap. I feel like I'm against the clock now. I was going to jump on that and they realised I had a big spike. I'm not sure how it works actually. Does anyone know how, how how do you sync photos and things like that? I mean, can you sync Google Photos? I'm kind of used to that now. So that's not the way you go there. That isn't the way either. Right.
Oh no. That was bad. I didn't run. I didn't run. This music has put me under pressure. Yeah, well, I mean, back in the day, you couldn't even put uh, apps into folders. You know, when I had iPhone, I couldn't even put apps into folders, and there was no such thing as widgets and all that. But they've obviously borrowed that from <coughs> they've obviously bor borrowed that from Android, and Android's borrowed a lot of stuff from iOS as well. What I would say though is, I genuinely think though, you know, for a, for a long time, what Apple did was let people in the other phone world, be it Nokia or Android companies, Windows companies, you know, Microsoft, they let them take risks and try things that were different and all that. And then they looked at what worked, they picked it up, they refined it, and then they claimed credit for it. But they did refine things, they made things, you know, really polished. But I think over the last, you know, five, six years, it's always been Android really pushing the envelope as far as what you can do with phones. That's partly to do with China, you know, all these Chinese companies pushing forward. A lot of these Chinese companies are taking risks that bigger companies can't do. But in seeing that, Samsung take ris takes risks. You saw that with the folding phone this year, which was a failure, but, you know, at least they're trying something different. Um, HTC tried it with the, the Vibrate thing, the, the Sense thing. They tried something different as well. Doesn't always work, but Apple don't really take risks in that regard. They really don't. They wait to see what other people have done and then they refine it. I think what they've done though is maybe hurt themselves by not, you know, by not, um... I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to do that. Oh, I need to jump to the left. That's why. Um, I think iPhone though, I think they're going to get a lot of stick for the for the notch i really do think so because when it came out the notch was they weren't the first to do that i don't think i'm sure there was a few android phones that did that but they were certainly kind of ahead of the curve as far as apple normally are but the fact they've still got it now when no like all the android phones this year i've got an all-screen display or the pin drop display and it, it just seems like they're behind it does seem like they're behind the curve quite a, a significant about um you know, they were behind in a lot of things, though. I think even wireless charging, they were behind. Um, can I... That was... Should I risk it? How many times I've died for those things? I think I just have to go here, I don't... How am I supposed to get across that? Yeah, I'm surprised it's got there. But did you see, like I showed this, I, I don't know if you guys saw the video because I, I published it just before I started streaming here. Basically, what they've done is the iPhone 11 shows the notch. The iPhone 11 Pro does have a notch, but in all their presentation, and all the marketing material, 90% of it anyway, they're using a black image in the background so you can't see the notches there. It's really, really fly. But... Obviously, anyone who looks at the phone and actually looks at any of the images or looks at the phone in a shop will see that the notch is there. As I said, I, I don't actually mind the notch that much. I really don't. So I'm not I'm not just trying to pick something out for the sake of it. But I do think if you look at other phones this year, um, it does kind of look dated. Should that even be going this way or should I... I no, what I should be doing? I should be going up and get my hat first. Maybe that's the... Maybe I should go and get my hat first before that. Oh, there's a moon in there. No idea how you get it. It's one of those boxes down there as well. One of those boxes. Ah, here we go. Any other way? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I did not have the the angles there. Um. Right. I need to look at this. Right. Help. How do I get up there? 
because I can do it from here. I can't jump on that thing. That thing's got a spike on top of it. Can you see anything sticking out here? Yeah, I would definitely go and see in person, Gary, because that is a lot of money. Um, and the thing is as well, basically, the way it works is the start of the year, like about March, Samsung are normally the first to get the new processor, the new Snapdragon processor, and they're normally driving innovation in a few areas as far as fast charging and all-screen displays, their camera and all that. Uh, and their phones are never the phone of the year, but it's kind of unfair because, you know, after they release... Apple's got another six months to, to refine what they're doing, and Google's got like seven months, you know. But Google's Pixel 4 about next month, which I suspect it will be just as pricey as the iPhone, but I suspect the camera could actually, I think it's going to have four cameras on the back, so I think that camera could actually trounce the, the iPhone's camera. But we'll see, but again, that's another phone that I think's overpriced as well. But maybe they'll have a, a Google Pixel 4a. Um, is that pole? Can you grab that pole? I don't know if you can grab that pole. No, if I jump on that pole, I will die. I will definitely die. I don't know where I'm supposed to go here. I'm really kind of flummoxed here. Because when you jump over there, there's nowhere to go at the other side. You know? So I can go here. I can go here, but then from here, where do I go? Can I go up in that branch? Is that how you do it? Or? I'm kind of flummoxed here. Yeah, I assume, it, I assume it will be. I assume it's like a night sight thing. Um, I'm sure it will be good as well. You know, I'm not, I'm not criticizing the iPhone camera or the iPhone itself. I'm certainly not. It will be a really good phone. I just, you know, if you're spending that kind of money, you need to know that there are alternatives. And most of the, those alternatives are cheaper. Right, guys. Do you think I should just take a mad run? I don't think that can be done. But the fact it's got a ring there, I don't know. Maybe I should. Oh, I need to do the hat thing. That's what it is. But I don't have a hat. Right. If I had a hat, I could do the hat jump. I don't have a hat, so I can't do that. Um, there was absolutely no need for me to do that. Oh, there's a moon down there as well. Which I assume, I need, I, again, I need my hat. How am I supposed to go back up here? Right. There isn't like a wall jump, is there? Realise how much I've... How much I've relied on that hat. Oh, there's a cheeky man. Didn't see that there. Right, um I'll come and hand it. Triple jump. No, that wouldn't work. I honestly can't. I'm, I'm maybe being silly here, but I can't see any way to get up there. That was close. Nah, I can't get a triple jump if I jump too close. 
Yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know if it's, maybe I'm missing a camera angle or something. There doesn't seem to be any way for me to get up there. Oh, what was that? Something like that might have helped me. So it's a tricky jump, whatever I'm doing. It's the fact my hat keeps crying. Bursting my tits. Right. Right, okay. Oh, was that it? If I went ahead there. So I kind of need to try and stay high. Um, maybe if I do the triple jump, but don't jump down as low. The camera angles are screwing me up here though. Right. There we go. It was... Yeah, the kind of camera angle was making it hard for me there. Can I make that jump? Um, I don't know actually, but I suppose I need to try. Nope. It's, I think it was just that jump. Uh, I, I kind of... Nah, I need to go this way. Yeah, that was obviously going to happen. Nope, I can't jump on that. Um, I'm using the, the Joy-Con, Gary. Have you got a Switch? you know how it works? So basically, they give you the two Joy-Con controllers, and then they give you like a little controller, and you slot those into them. So these two actually go to the side of the Switch. I can't actually show you that because it's docked. Can I smack him from underneath somehow? Ah! There you go. Thanks for the tip. So now I can do the level. Thank God. Yeah, it's quality, mate. It's quality. Absolutely quality. It's a... Uh, I know it's a... It's, it's a kind of... Like on the surface, if you look at this game, it kind of looks like a kid's game, but... And it is, it's like the kind of game that even kids can play, but... Um, yeah, it's fantastic. I think most people would enjoy it. Ah, oh, nah. Where's my hat? Ah, oh, I gave him it again. I don't think you had it. <laughs> ah, nothing wrong with that, Gary. God, I remember we used to go to yours and we used to play the Amiga. Play Sensei Soccer. With a joystick with a sticky grip. I don't think these things can be killed. Oh no. I need to get a love heart. I need to get a heart. That's what I need to get. So what I'm thinking is... 
I'm gonna die here, but uh, my idea was to go to the edge, kind of drip down, and then kind of walk along. But the fact that one energy and the guy was chasing me means I couldn't do it. Ah, here we go. Why didn't I think of this? Should have been obvious. Right, so this level is, will get a lot simpler. So, I still need to watch out for this thing. Right. So I can walk across here now. So I think that's because it's at a different level, that one. Oh. How did I get to that? Ah. Right. Here we go. Look at this. Ah, oh, I couldn't get it. So we need to be in the same level. Is that right? That's too high. We storm area 51. I don't know what that reference is. Uh, I played Sunshine, but I was never the biggest fan, if I'm honest. It was okay. I just... I thought Super Mario 3D... Were, uh, Super Mario 3D was better. Um... And I thought Super Mario 64 was better as well. Right, so I need to... So there must be something the same height as that moon. Um, up there. Oh, in fact, I could probably go around here now. Oh, I can't jump. Yeah, that's higher up that. I'm not sure how you get to that, because you need something that's the same level. Oh, I just, I do that, and then I go back in. Of course I do. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. So where do I go from here? Oh, so obviously I can get... Remember down the bottom? So remember that jump down the bottom? I was wondering why I couldn't get anywhere with it. Now I know how I can do it.
suddenly this part of the game becomes much easier. A little bit too quick there. Here we go. <laughs> it's always cool when it goes 2D. It's always very, very cool in my opinion. Always very cool. Yeah, the 2D is a nice touch, and I don't think they, um, I don't think they overdo it either. You know, they're not like doing it constantly. Um, and I think in every level as well, you go like a different little monster thing, a little bad guy. I don't think there's anything else around there, is there? I could go along and see what's there. There we go. Yeah, it is a pretty chill game. It's not like, uh, you know, like, see, like when I play a first person shooter or something, you know, you're kind of. I wouldn't say the word stressed, but you're, you're so focused on the game that you can't really pay attention to comments when you're playing. Um, but this is a lot more chill. You know, I can take I can take a break at any time and just sit and read comments and chat to you guys. Um, and it's, it's the kind of game that's enjoyable to watch as well, I think, you know. So there's more things to do over here. This is a deceivingly big level. Right, right, right. That's what I'm supposed to do, isn't it? I was wondering what I had to do there because I was looking at going to have to change back to Mario or... Half the power of moons we need. Five more. Right. There's still a lot to go. There was a lot kind of high up. that one up there but I'm not sure what else now that I know I can use these things I can maybe get an idea of where I should be going next oh there was some over here these things are awesome <laughs> 
They make everything so much easier. Forty go, forty go. Right, so there's one behind that. I don't know. There must be a little secret entrance somewhere. Now I know why there's ramps here. So these little guys can get up and down. Well, what was the thing at the start I didn't get? There was one at the start I didn't get. What was the key, wasn't it? It was a key at the start. It was a key at the start. Maybe I can drop down. Yeah, so if you remember at the start, there was a key that I couldn't get to. Maybe around here. Here we go. Three to go, guys. Three to go. So there's one. There's one that's up there. There's one that's up there, and it's kind of higher up. Um. I reckon. I only have a look at that one again. So there's one trapped there. Now that's because right. So there's still that part I need to go to. Um, Alright, that, so that one's just over there. Alright, uh, I can get to that. That's the thing, sometimes with this you really do have to take a step back to see where, where you are and see how you get to something. Right. Expert not now. Whoa. Oh no. Oh, that was very lucky. Although I am. Kind of dead now, aren't I? Yeah. No problem, Gary. Thanks for watching, mate. Let me know if you get any questions about the phone, but I reckon if you get into a shop for that, you'll see what the new iPhone's all about. They'll probably have them in shops in the next week. Whoa. I was nearly doing that there. Going to autopilot sometimes. Cheers, guys. Right, so there's a few here that I think I can get. I need to get three. I reckon I'll get them. It's just a matter of, you know, getting through it, getting through them all. Right. Oh, there's some things over there as well. No idea how you get there. Oh, I didn't do my triple jump right. It's quite cool. You've got the same text, same uh, techniques since Mario 64. I actually did that too early.
So you need to do it where you, you're still high. There we go, like that. Right, so that one up there. I don't know how you... Why was that putting an arrow at his head? Oh, right, the hat kills him. Right, right. Let's see if I can do what I did try to do last time. Nah, it doesn't work. These things just seem to kill me all the time. I didn't go through that last save point, did I? Where's the save point? I need a save point. Ah, there's one over there. If not, I'll need to go all the way back down to the bottom. Whoa, did not mean that. Hey, this means if I die now, I will just go back to there. There was another one down there, wasn't there? Uh, I'm vibrating a lot because I've got no energy. That doesn't work. I honestly thought that would work. I thought I could. What am I supposed to do then? Just jump off? God damn it. I don't know how I get to that one either. That little entrance to that somewhere. Oh, that, this thing. No, I thought it was like the stairs. Um, I've not played any of my own games. I've played a few games that my friend had. Um, um, would I play Mario Kart? Played P Puyo Puyo Ter Tetris, that's quite good. I downloaded that Tetris 99, but I'm not really a fan of it. And of course, I played some NES and SNES games on our live stream. It's pretty cool that you get that now. I don't know how you're supposed to kill those things, other than you do that and then they run into you. Then it doesn't even kill them. It doesn't even kill them when you do that. It just, you know, removes them for a few seconds. The energy thing is annoying. I might actually just kill myself so that I can stop that noise. Right, see if I can do this. One, two, three. Right, so that, I can't get that moon. I can't get around to the side of that there. So where'd I go then? 
That one up there. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that one. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, I was going to die anyway. The, I think with the Tetris one is it's a free download if you play everyone, but if you want to play like a one player game, you have to pay. Oh, is that what it is? You use a evil. I honestly could have played this for the next hour and not figured that out. I think you're 100% right. Um, yeah, you're right. So you think it's down, down these ones? You're right, evil. Yeah, you're right. You're 100% right, evil. I'm not sure if there's anything in these ones, but gives me a chance to practice my technique. There we go. Evil, this one's for you, mate. This one's for you. Genuinely, I, I, I don't even... You know, there's a lot of stuff that kind of comes obvious. And, and, you know, it just comes second nature to you. Um, I don't know why I never even figured that one out. So I, need, I can maybe do it with those ones as well. I don't think this will do anything, but... So there's probably a few other things I can do, do that with. Up the stairs. Up the stairs, in fact. That's how I get through that part. Evil, you are a smart man. Right. I'm looking at this level completely different now. that went through. My god, I just took the brunt of that. It's quite hard to get a timing for that actually. Why did I get a love heart two seconds ago instead of now? There's another one. <laughs> Still unsure about that cage. Yeah, I'm as well. I'm as well. I'm, yeah, now it's weird because there's certain things I don't even think about it. And it's not because I'm smart. It's just because I've played Mario games before. You go, oh, you know, it's like seeing a wall in Zelda where you know to put a bomb there. Um, there's just certain things you just do immediately. But yeah, I just wasn't. I just couldn't see that, honestly. Oops, I went the wrong way. Oh dear. Take a look around. I hope I'm not wasting the game for you, Niall. Hopefully I'm not wasting it for you. Take the heart. Take the... The moon, sorry. Unless we get the last one. So it's only the it's only the boxers which I've wanted for ages. I wanted those boxers for so long. I just can't seem to get the one thousand coins. Right, I've got twenty six. What can I get here? Aviator. Right. So that, that's the another thing I'll need to go back and do because I, I think it was maybe two of the levels where I changed but I didn't, you know, do anything with it. I didn't unlock the door. Oh, 
Ah, uh, that's good now. Thanks. I'm glad that I'm glad I've not wasted it for you. I mean, it's one of those things. It's the same. I, I've I looked at some Breath of the Wild videos, um, before I got it and all that as well. Oh, this is how you do it. I've got a little flying buddy here, and we've hit the save point. So, well, right away, there's that. Oh, that's it. That's the Odyssey. Right, let's have a look around. So there's that one there. Oh dear. That didn't work to, that didn't go to plan. I think he's actually one of the hardest guys to control. So did I just die here? Is that the easiest way for me to... Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna kill myself. Is that the cheap way out? I know it's a cheap way out, but I can't be bothered going all the way up. Right, so I can leave in the Odyssey at any time, but there's a few... Oh, there's one there. <laughs> that was one of the easiest ones to get. So there's a few there that you have to get with him, obviously. So, But that one with the cage, that's not one, but that one is. That's the one I was trying to get before and I couldn't get it. I don't know what's the best way to glide with him though, because it's quite hard to control. Uh. Ah. I think that's the way to do it. Kind of let go, let go, glide, and you just get the moon and then die. There you go, like that. Pilot wing style. Now what do I do, do I go back or what? I did not mean that. Have I still got that permanent when you die? Do you still keep the permanent, don't you? I think you do. Yeah, you do, that's good. Right, so where else could I go with him? It's quite hard to see sometimes. There's a, what's that thing, a butterfly? Probably just coins, all the way down there for coins. So there's this part of way down there, but that's just purple coins by the looks of it, and I don't know how you get back. But, I want to see it. Pilot wing style. Oh, look at that for the landing. Ah, there's a catapult. Oh! Whoa. Thank God for that. <laughs> right. I know there's a lot more in this level, but I want to jump on the ship. The shop's in a really annoying place in this level, isn't it? When you think about it. You know, all the other levels, it's right next to the ship. Ah, it was that one. Ah, I missed the other one. Ah, it doesn't matter. Right. Here we go. Can you check it? I think it tells you on the ship, Evo. 
So we should see it here. We should see it here. So before it says 78, it'll probably say what? 90 or something like that now. Maybe 90. So now we're going to Metro kind Kingdom, hopefully. Wow. Kind of weird walking about with humans here. See how many does it say? Oh, like see up there, Evil. 88. Can you see that? 88 moons. So I must have only got 10 in that last level. Because I think it's 78 before. What is that thing doing here? When you see the advertisement for this, um, it was always in the daylight, so I assume you get daylight in this later on. I know Mario does look strange next to human beings. Uh, can this be played on one Joy-Con? No, I think what you need to do is, it actually encourages you to play it with two Joy-Cons, like take it out of the grip and play it, but I, I just prefer just using it as a controller. Um, there is a two-player mode though, so maybe it changes with that. Maybe there is an option to... Um, uh, yeah, maybe two-player mode there's an option to do that. I don't know. Hey! <laughs> this is awesome! Tank. It's quite hard to see right enough. It's quite hard to see where you're going. And I'm dying a lot here. Save point.
It's actually letting me kill quite a lot of things here. A little bit of a funny camera angle here. There's a love heart. I do want a love heart. I do need a love heart. See how they've got the... They've got that as a kind of, oops. They had that as like the traffic light. So you still lose energy when you're, when you're in this thing. Quite an intense level, isn't it? Grand Theft Mario. Um. Yeah, I want to go back down there. See if that was anything. Lose some energy as well when I'm at it. Why not, eh? So those boxes. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It doesn't feel like a Mario level. It really doesn't. But, um... I'm all for variety. Right, let's see what we've got here. So these things are going to fall down. I just got a big messes here and my stuff is pro saying, do you want to update now? Um, no. And I'm dead. That was very bad timing there. Do you want to up restart your computer now? No, because that's what I'm looking at comments. Right. I'm not too far behind, that's okay. Those things are quite hard. See with the angle with these things, see because it's not 2D, it's quite hard to see where you hit them.
Am I buying any more handhelds? Um, no, I mean, I remember looking at the BitBoy when it came out, but I didn't buy it, but I always thought it looked quite cool. So what's the what's the new version of the, the BitBoy like? What, is there anything... What I can actually do just now is email myself so I do remember to check it out tomorrow. I remember looking at it though, I remember looking at it and um, always thought it looked quite cool. Um, Bit boy. Pocket. Go. Right, I've emailed myself, so I'll check it out tomorrow. Thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip. Um, I'll check it out. I'm always, I'm always keen on buying things like that, even when I don't need them. I, you know, kind of collectibles. Um, really should kill them before they grow up. Oh, that was good. I like that. I've not seen many moons. So a wall jump there for purple coins, it's kind of bizarre. Right, I don't know what's going to happen here. Let's see. Oof. It's quite evil for a Mario game. So they're going to bring me down to a platform so we can have a fight. Right, so I need to get one of these. going on here. This is like combat in the Atari. Or tanks. You know, any kind of... What was that? There was a game called, was it World of Tanks? I don't seem to be getting hit a lot, which is quite good. I've only got one moon, and I didn't even collect that when I was here. Oh! 
I saw that coming back here, Shun. So something I'm not doing here because it doesn't, doesn't seem to be changing. Oh no, it's definitely no. Or maybe not. I'm gonna die here. Okay, so obviously it has to be with the tank because it just brought them back up there. Yeah, I'm dead. Um, I didn't know what the best thing was to do there. It, it seemed like it, it wasn't advancing at that point. You know, it wasn't changing the, the pattern. Not sure what was going on. Right, I can skip this, we've done this part. Losing a life already. So this is where there's goes any teleport. Hey, what am I missing here? What am I missing here? I'm definitely missing something. I'm getting killed. Yeah, um, I died very quickly that time. So something I'm missing with, once you get by that first part, it just seems to go like lightning, um, and it jumps across lightning to one side of the, the room to the other. Right, so let's see if I can do this here. I'm just not noticing a pattern there as far as what's changing. Dying a lot this time. I never died as much the first time. Yeah, it's kind of like if you look at it here, though, it goes through like a train, like that. But not that, like that's not doing anything. Here. You can see it's not. Hurting him in any way. Nothing's changing. He does it again. Do I need to fire that through the tunnel? Do I fire it through the tunnel? And then he'll do it where he'll fire the bombs at me. This is where I normally die. I lose a few lives. But even then, see even when I do this, right? Because I did this for a long time last time. Um, even when I do this, it doesn't seem to change the pattern. You know, now he's back at it again. Same pattern. 
Do I need to have him square on when he comes through, or...? I need to get heart as well because with just the three lives I'm not doing it. I'm stubborn enough that I want to uh, keep doing this until I get it. So this guy gave me a tip. Is that what this is? Oh yeah, I'll take it. Yes, I want to buy that. I don't know who that guy is, but help, help the newbie. Help the noob. Help the newbie. Alright, destroy that one. I'm losing a life already. It's quite hard to dodge. See, because you're in the tank, it's quite hard to dodge the bombs. So we did this. This is our chance. Perfect. And then... It's basically just the start of it. I mean, they're just standing in front of him. That's not doing a thing, is it? Like, which? So, but it's either when he's on the wall, or it's now that he's vulnerable. One of these times he's vulnerable, but I'm not sure when. Behind me. Oh, at least I dodged him this time. Here. Yeah, see if I stand there he just he just kills me. So I can't stand in front of that. Seems to have a different colour now. Oh it's because I've not killed that. Oh, it's changing this time. What did I do differently? What did I do differently there? I honestly don't think... Was I just not hitting him the first time? I genuinely... Not, I'm not any wiser as to what I did differently. Unless they've just, you know, took it easy on me and, and made it so that he died. I don't know. So this should bring, this should hopefully bring the daylight back. Yeah, I, was, I think it was just keep shooting. Maybe I wasn't firing at the, at the head of it. I don't know. A little bit bizarre though, wasn't it? Yeah. Right. We don't have enough power moons. Shocker. Never expected that to happen. Right. Now we can actually walk about here, so it's just like a part of the city here. I like how, like, see, like here, they've got that in the traffic lights thing, that's pretty cool.
I will never hit 30 jumps. How do you count it? This is talking about the car, is it? Nah, it's not talking about the car. I don't know what it's going to compare here. A communications error occurred. Thank you, Nintendo. God damn it, Nintendo. If you charge that money for games, you need to get this stuff right. RC Car Pro, right, so there'll be a, a remote control somewhere. Remote control car. Look at that thing down there. Need to get the wire across. I'll be damned if I know how to get it. Wall jump. Does look like a wall jump is going to help me. So I can get that first time, but I couldn't figure out that thing earlier. Um, yeah, I guess you just... Some things you just kind of... Oh, come <laughs> Damn camera angles every time, man. Right, I've still got the moon though. Guess that's the important thing. Let's see the town. Mario motorbike. Doing donuts. Where's the mirror? Four backup mu musicians. Oh, there's one. Right, so I've got a drummer. We've got a drummer. Yahoo! We've got a drummer. We need to, um... Oh. Uh -huh. Right. So we need to find... There was, that, there was that guy playing guitar earlier as well, wasn't there? So we need to go and find uh, the guy with the guitar. See what's down here. Is 
It's just weird how small Mario is compared to everyone else. And there's a doorway for something as well. It's quite hard to control it. Ah, he's going at a funny angle. It doesn't seem to go left and right. It's like at a funny 45 degrees angle. Unle unless I stay there. Ah, right, so you need to stay... It's when you go to the flip forward thing, it goes a little bit messed up. I did not know that that, yeah, I was uh, a little bit foolish there. I think I should go back here, just to be safe. Again, it's all about the angles. You get a funny angle sometimes and it just screws you. I missed that one again, but I'm not going to risk my life. Hey Neil, welcome to the stream. We're now in, uh, I think they call it Metro Kingdom. I think. Right, so where was that guitarist? It was right at the start of the level. Oh, there he is. Guitarist on board, right, so what do we need now, a singer and a bass player? Is that what they're going to do? So I'm looking for musicians, amongst other things, there's lots of different, like, little mini games in that, in this level. In every level. Some boxes down there to destroy. Oh, there's a Day of the Dead, guys. Yeah. And there's a little cheeky moon at the end. Some of these moons are too easy, aren't they? But I guess, I guess that's what it's all about. You know, you don't... You know, some of the moons will be easy, some will be quite hard. In fact, I don't have them all. I guess demonstrates that. Um, is this the little guys from earlier? Hey! hey. Screwed. Right. Is this timing or sheer luck? So it's after the heart. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. After the heart, I press it. I went the wrong way. Oh, I went too early. I went too early. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, so basically after the heart, I'll push the button. The problem was I was going at a, the wrong angle. Right. Okay. 
Can I message via main daughters? The Elder's got a lot of little games like that as well, you know, kind of little, um, what do you call them, surface games. Outdoor cafe. Still need to find two musicians. easy. Okay, maybe not, because it's like the Matrix. Just got there in time. Yeah, that was like the scene in the Matrix at the start when he's walking through the crowd and they're all bumping into him. Oh dear. Ah, oh, Lady in the Red Dress. Yeah, that was the reference I was thinking of there. Um, I, kinda, I totally lost the momentum there. It's kind of weird that you can go backwards. Oh, oh. I did not, I did not mean that. That was completely accidentally to go that fast. I need to wait. I pushed the wrong button there. Bring up. What an athlete. Wait, there's more. Anything over here? No, oh, there is not. It wasn't difficult, but for at least that one, I had to earn it. The funny thing is, you see, if you just push B, it doesn't do it. You have to hold it in to actually, to actually go. <laughs> Shortcut here. Let me in. So, alright, uh, that's why I'm not allowed to do that one. Right. I mean, it's a lot in this level. This one's, it's kind of, um, Alright, alright, right. So I need to I need to put on my inspector clothes to get in. Right. Um it's kinda easier to get lost in this one because everything looks the same.
Also das ist ein Runner. Oh, maybe not. I, I think I need to go back up that one. At least I didn't die. It's always good. Right, so there is a ledge there. Maybe I'll do a triple jump. What do you think? A triple jump, maybe? Nah, I need to get that right. Oh, that was it. Oh, that was it. I pushed the jump button again. That was silly. So basically, a triple jump and then from the ledge, I can get up. I don't know why that other ledge, though, that seemed to have kind of thrown me. Yeah, I need to jump further away. Not that far away. Hedges. Before the hedges, right. Maybe be the lady. Between the lady and the hedges, right. Got there in the end. Hope I get a, a, a nice juicy moon for this. Surely get something. Oh, there's a little wall jumpy bit. Is this where I was earlier? No. Oh, I remember earlier when I said there was like purple coins. Oh, there's one over there. It was all worth it. So there's um, there's a few of those electrical things here. Ah, oh, this is where it was earlier. Was I here earlier? I might have been. Right. What's that guy? Oh, is, there, is that the singer? He's a singer, isn't he? So what's that building? Yeah, I need to go down there and get him. Oh, we're in here. Yeah, this is one, what I did earlier. Right. As I said, it's quite hard to remember where this level's a little bit more confusing as to where you've been. Let go down. Right, so it was that one. Let me see if I can get to the top. So the top of this one, there's a guy dancing. I have no idea how you're supposed to get to that. Ah, here we go. Low entrance there. Oh no. I did not expect that.
Yeah, hey. I died? I didn't expect I was going to die there. Right, so I got the moon. Doesn't really help me as far as getting to the top though. Unless there's like one to the, the building to the side of it. Maybe there's one of the electrical things. This is where I was earlier. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't, I don't know how I'm getting up, going to get up there. What's that? What's that? Ah. Right, so that would make me think I can get up that. Right, so I need to go in that pencil looking thing. It wasn't staying on that though. Surely that is there for a reason. Have I been in this one? It's quite hard to remember which ones you've been through. Yeah, I've been through this one. Maybe it's easier for you guys. I am, but certainly from a playing point of view, sometimes you're walking around, it just feels the same. it. Right, so that's the building I went on, but there's no way to get on it. I'm going the ledge. I didn't want to do that. Um. Right. Oh, there's another, mu is that another musician there? Or is that miles away? Yes, yeah, miles away. So there's one. Oh, that on track. That's one. That one's easy. That was very easy. Bass player. So if you just get that one person, so there's basically one person left at the top of a roof. Um, I've got no idea how I get to it. But we'll figure it out. Ah, here's the RC. Right, talk to this guy. Why is this guy not letting me play? Did 
to get the hats, that's what it is. Builder, right, so there was a builder outfit. Golf outfit as well. Um, I, I can afford this one, so. I need to get more, I need to get 45 total to... Now I need to find it. So basically there was a construction yard. Um, there was a construction yard guy earlier that says that I had to have... I had to have like a, a builder suit on, a builder outfit on. Right, so I need to find that again. And it was just in front of a building as well, it wasn't like obvious. Oh well. There's a suit there as well, there's a suit thing, but no, I'll get that later. I don't know how, right, so the RC, I don't know how you get that. Do anything like that. He says I need to be an RCA pro. Okay, here is a little. Doesn't look too hard. What have I missed here? What have I missed? Must be something about here. Oh, this is the one I did that was underneath. Ah, right, okay. So I've kind of did this already. This is the problem with this. It's very, very similar when, you, when you're when walking around. So I need a car. Right. Damn it. I didn't know I could do that earlier. So earlier on I was trying to jump on that thing and I should have just Yeah, right. Now I know what I'm do now I know what to do. Now I know how to get to the top of these roof places. Uh Click. Oh, no, dear, 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 dear. That's the, that's the wrong thing to do. Right. Right, I know what to do now. I know what to do now, guys. I know what to do. Um, so that's going to get me to two different areas now. That's going to get me to two different areas. If I... I'm going to have to wait for the next car. Get out of the way. I'm gonna tell I've got a builder suit on. Right, so. Well, that would have been easier be to get up there, but. That doesn't matter. Right. Right. So when I get to the top of this, I can flick to the other to the other building. 
I can either go to that one where I go over there. But I should really go and get the oh I should really try and get the musician. Hopefully this gets me there. There we go. Ah, we got there in the end. We got there in the end. Trumpet player. Takes you all the way down. Trumpet it on board. So, as I said, you know, there's a few other things I can get up there. God, this girl, this woman's got me doing odd jobs around the city. Look how many moons I've got already. It's quite a lot, actually, when you think about it. Right, so I'm supposed to go down there. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Where's the map, actually? I really should be using this more. Right. RC challenge. Right. Shop. Right. I should, I should start using the map more. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Right, I want to go to the top of that building again. Um... the quick way to it. Here we go. Whoa. Up the way, you think? Up the way. The city actually doesn't look as big when you're up here, but when you're down down at the bottom, it's a little bit ha harder to navigate. Right. I need to go down. Oh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Classic. What's this? Level level two of Super Mario, this one? I think. This song I'm talking about. I wonder if it's going to go 2D. Looks like it will, but who knows.
Right. Um. That was a bit lucky, if I'm honest. That was a bit lucky. Right, let's see what happens here. So, we've got this. I know I need to do that. Oh dear, that didn't work out well. Right, I jumped on that too quickly, clearly. I think I went through, did I go through the save point? No, I did not. No, I did not. Of course I didn't. I didn't make it easy for myself. I thought you had to jump in that, you just... What? You just hit him, it's a lot easier than you would think. I always thought you had to jump on him, but... No. Nah. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, I was standing on it when I threw it. Ah. That's bad. It's not even that difficult, really. I'm just being a little bit, um, I think I'm maybe rushing it a little bit, but. So do it this time. Ah, oh, did it again. Push the Z button. Idiot. I'm an idiot. A goddamn idiot. Right. This isn't even that hard, really. It's just that one bat I keep messing up on. I've got to know this level inside out by the end of this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there's no need for me to lose that. Right. Yeah, I think I need to wait until it's slower. Ah, oh, come on, I didn't even jump! Why am I dying at a bit that's not even that difficult? I mean, I'm not saying it's easy, per se, but I should not be dying near more than once. I should not be dying near either, but... Right. I mean, I've got this level sus now. Up to here, anyway. Up to up to the last part where I die. Right. Ah, oh, look at that. Brilliant. Textbook. I 
I wonder, in fact, I'm going to wait. Let's just wait and see where this stops. It probably stops at the perfect position. And I'm running and jumping about like an a maniac. Yeah, let's see what happens. Right, okay. Maybe that's when you do it. I'm just curious now where it stops. No, okay. It was worth a try. Right. Maybe not that one, so I'll let it go round twice. Yeah, twice seems to be the magic number. Donk City. Right. I got a moon. I'm, I've actually got quite a lot of moons in this one now. Um, Okay, okay. Yes. We're going to dance. Just sit back and enjoy the music. Males went all Jessica Rabbit on us. <laughs> Look at Mario go. <laughs> that's tremendous. Hey, that's tremendous. Go on, get in there. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear me.
Totally missed him. Totally missed him. Totally missed him. Missed them all. But that's okay. Hey, I might, I might have enough for boxers now. Right. It's Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong mode by the looks of it. Uh, you've got the DK and the coins here. I don't even know it's the coins here until there. This is a nice little um, homage. There's a man himself, and he just took a life off me. That was a nice, that was a nice little inclusion, wasn't it? Good old Donkey Kong. It's like a celebration of Mario. And that's me got, that's me got all the moons I need then. New Donk City. So there's obviously still a lot of moons I need to get in this level, but if I've got enough moons, I might just move on to the next one. And then I can go through later on. Let's see what the next one is. Let's see what it takes us. We're up to now. Must be over a hundred now. Yeah, one oh nine. I'm sure the Odyssey will be powered down in about two minutes. Seems to run out of juice a lot. Snow Kingdom. Um. I'm going to try Seaside. I mean, we'll do both of them anyway. Yeah. Ball jump, we know how to ball jump. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Next time I play Super Mario, I'll ho hopefully have the Switch Pro Controller. Um, should be a little bit better than this. I mean, I think the comfort grip thing, it works okay. I just don't think it's the best out there. You know, it, it's, it's a very good backup solution, but not as your main controller, I don't think. Um... But hopefully I'll, get, I'll be playing with the Switch Pro Controller next. But uh, I think this is a good time as any, guys, to, to, to quit the stream. Part 2. Has, this has been part 2. Um, part 2 of Super Mario Odyssey. In the last stream I did it, it was like 4.5 hours. This one's over 3 hours. As you can see, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of gameplay in this game. And I haven't even, you know, got all the moons for each level. Um, so I will pick this up again. I'm determined to go through and complete this game because it's so much fun. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate everyone that's been tuning in to the stream, everyone who's been watching, everyone who's been leaving comments. Do appreciate it. I will pick this up again very soon. But for now, but for now, if I jump over here, get you in full screen. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate the comments. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing another stream with, with this. If you guys want me to complete it, and uh, I'm sure some of you do, then uh, I'll do another stream. 
So yeah, fantastic game. This has been part two of Super Mario Odyssey, one of the best Switch games, I believe. Um, certainly should be in everyone's collection, at least until they complete it and then they might want to sell it on. But um, yeah, I think this is a fantastic little game. So appreciate it, guys. I will speak to you all very, very soon. But until then, take care.